Hey, Ryan, can you just describe the uh, team's mindset if you have to go forward with a different quarterback uh, based, based on the prognosis for Jameis Winston? Um, yeah, you know, obviously um, tough injury for Jameis. Um, but I think we're, you know, confident as a group going forward. Um, you know, whatever the coaching staff decides, um, whoever the quarterback is, um, you know, we all got our jobs to do and, and uh, we're going to go forward and move confidently with uh, whatever cue is, is behind us. Luke Johnson. Hey, Ryan, I'm just curious with like when that actually happens in the game. I, I mean, you guys have kind of unfortunately been in this scenario a couple of times where you had to bring the, the number two in. Um, so, like, how, how does the team handle that in the moment? Um, you know, you just this is a couple of times you've had to deal with this now. Yeah, you know, obviously you hate seeing your quarterback go down. Um, but at the end of the day, it's football. There's injuries in football. And um, it's kind of it has to be a next man up mentality. Um, you know, we had a ton of confidence with um, our other, Trevor coming in. Um, and, uh, you know, I think he played really well. Um, so, you know, we, we have we have confidence in him and um, whoever's back there. So we got to go out and do our job at the end of the day. John to see you. Good morning, Ryan. Um, you guys see a lot more of Trevor than we do. What were some of the things that you, you all saw from him in practice that made you feel confident that he could come out and play the way he did yesterday? Um, you know, he's he's been in this league for a while now, and I think he's got experience and um, you know, he's a good quarterback. Um, obviously, you know, during the week, we don't get a ton of reps with him. Um, so, you know, it was a little bit of di a different feel. Um, but, you know, I thought he played well. I thought he got rid of the ball well and, and passed the ball well. Um, and I thought he commanded the huddle and he jumped in there and, um, you know, didn't seem timid or nervous and, and uh, you know, commanded everything really, really good. When he jumps in on the fly like that, how long does it take to establish a rhythm or, or do you establish one at all? You just kind of, you know, did, did, it, did it take long to establish a rhythm with him once he came in in that way? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, up front, we, we got to do our jobs and, uh, you know, we get the play call and it, it honestly, it doesn't matter who's back there. Um, you know, we're worried about what we're doing up front. And uh, like I said, we'll block for whoever and, um, I think, uh, as far as a rhythm, we didn't get out of one and, and, uh, you know, we just kept, kept going. Mike Triplett. Ryan, I saw a pretty remarkable, uh, stat it said Tampa Bay blitzed 22 times and you didn't allow a pressure on any of them, which was, which was like a record in the next gen stats era. Um, what, what went into your successful blitz pickup last night? Was that something you guys were on alert for and expected to see so much of? Yeah. Um, obviously they did pressure a lot. We kind of knew that going in that they were a, a high pressure team. Um, and, you know, I think all week um, our offensive line coaches did, did a great job um, getting us ready for it, made it making a couple different uh, tweaks in our protection plan. Um, so, I think our communi communication was great up front. And, um, you know, like you saw, I, th I think we did a really good job in handling all the different pressures that, that they throw. Luke Johnson? Hey, Ryan, I, I didn't pull the numbers up in time, so I'm not sure exactly what they are, but it, you guys probably might have put up the most rushing yards on Tampa that they've, uh, they've given up this season. How, how do you think you guys fared in that department last night? Yeah, I think we did well. Um, you know, they, they had a, a heavy front out there most of the time. And, um, I, you know, I think we blocked it up well. Obviously, there's some some corrections that I personally would like to get back. And, and I know there's some that the guys would like to get back to. Um, I think uh, Coach Payton did a good job in sticking with the run and believing in us. And um, I think we were able to get it going a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's something we take a lot of pride in is getting that ground game going. So um, I was I was overall happy with – Without one yesterday, and does having does having Mark Ingram back uh, play any part at all in that? Um, it just yeah, it, he only had a handful of carries last night, but it, um, yeah, obviously, um, you know, I was here with Mark before, and um, you know, great personality, great player. Um, 
and uh, obviously love having him back on the squad. And uh, he, he brings a lot of energy and excitement to the game and um, as well as his athleticism and ability on the field. So um, definitely great to have him back. John Hendricks. Hey, Ryan, uh, just talk a little bit about the offensive line, you know, putting James Hurst in there. You, you guys lose Andres last week, but Calvin comes in and then um, just kind of his ability as a veteran and just kind of what you've seen from him and kind of the confidence in the offensive line going forward. Yeah, James has done a great job all year, um, you know, kind of filling in where he needs, um, playing jumbo, guard, tackle. Um, he has done a phenomenal job. You know, we watched the film and, you know, he's, he's played really well. Um, I think, uh, you know, our whole offense line has a ton of confidence in him and, um, you know, he's proven that he can play. Um, and I think as a whole, you know, we're excited moving forward and, and confident moving forward with, with who we got up there. Luke Johnson. I did look it up. You guys did put up a season high against Tampa. Okay. Um, this is uh, actually from, uh, from, Rod Walker, uh, he wanted to know uh, how Trevor was in the in the huddle last night after he came in. Like, like, what was his command like when after coming in for Jameis? Yeah, I um, I think I kind of touched on it earlier, but he he commanded the huddle great. Um, you know, there was no sense of nervousness or anything. You know, he it looked like he had been there before, um, and uh, you know, he he had a, he definitely had confidence going into it, and I think he did a great job.